Hello and welcome to Anderson's TV. My name's Jack. We're here out on the shop floor of Anderson's in the wilderness. There's people walking around on mobile phones, having fun, trying our guitars, trying our drums. It's a nice place to come. I'm out here checking out all the Roland keyboards today and trying to put across the key features to you and the differences. Sat in front of a pretty special one today, which is the Roland HP603. And um, what makes it special, I hear you ask. Maybe you're not even asking, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. But what makes this one special is that, firstly, we're gonna start with the action. So, we've been rattling through the other keyboards, but this one is the PH50 action, and that means it's a mixture of real wood, so you've got your hands on the real good stuff here. This is real wood, and then inside the core is plastic. And that, what that does, that combination is, you get the feel of the wood, um, but also the stability of the plastic. So if you're in a humid room, say you stuck this out the back of your house, which is in your conservatory and it gets a bit minging, uh, that's the technical term, minging, uh, this will stay really stable. And also it's got a big boy warranty, 10 year warranty. That's because it's so stable, they kind of back it to the hilt. Um, also, new is, uh, like there, I've put my headphones on just so I can maybe get this across. I'm gonna play really softly and watch where my hands go. Now, I don't know if you saw, but I was right up here, up near the felt. Now that, I can do that and get that level of expression because they've moved the pivot point back of where the, how the keys, you know, where they pivot. So it's a longer key inside there, you can't see. I'm kind of demonstrating with scientific hands. It's longer in there. And so on, on the uh, other models that are a little bit more affordable than this, the pivot point's right there on the red felt. And that means that as you progress up through your grades, which I never did and you can clearly hear, but you're going to need to get up those keys to get some of the passages to play there. So this is the first one where you can really go, hey, I'm going all, I'm going all the way up to grade 8, or maybe you're there, you had another piano and you're moving up through the grades, and you want that level of expression from a digital piano, the, what they've done with the keyboard action allows you to do that. So that's pretty cool. And when I go up here, you can also see this. Oh, sh me was a bit too heavy handed, but <laughs> you can flick that back, and I love that. I don't know what they call that, but it's kind of like a little modesty thing. I like it, a little, little knickknack that kind of just covers that up. Because once you've set the piano the way you want it, and I'll show you how you can set it, it's nice to just set and forget it if you want to come up to it and just. No one would know, no one would know. Just a quick glance around as well. Nice cabinet. Everything's a little bit more sturdy, I'd say. Down here we've got brass pedals as well. Oh yeah, you know it. Brass pedals. Also, you know, nice interfacing bit here. We've got two, the two headphone jacks, USB outs, and proper line level output. So if you want to put this into other speakers, you can also plug in, you know, like an iPod and things like that. I like that. It's cool. This uh, 
little headphone holder as well. So if you're teaching you regularly on, on cans, really nice. Uh, also they do that twin piano feature where it splits it up into um, you know, the keyboard in half at the same range so piano uh, teacher and student can be on there playing in the same range or if you've got friends you want to duet with in the same range. Anyway I'm waffling on but what we've got here, we've got a little iPad. What's wicked? All these pian Roland pianos have been trying to show little tidbits of the apps that go with it, the Piano Partner app and the Piano Designer. Now we had a look on the Piano Partner app for selecting some sounds earlier on, but this one we're going to look at the designer side of things. So like I said, once you've got it set up and how you want it, but this is how you're going to do it. And one of the cool things, let me show you on here, this is how it looks. Pretty cool, super simple, hooked up no problem like any other Bluetooth device, really easy. And I got this on because I'm terrible with these things, so if I can use it, so can you. Oh, that! I didn't know I could get the alarm round the other side. There. Only now. There we are. Cool. So if I play a bit, we're going to fiddle with some of these settings, and hopefully you'll hear how dramatic the difference is. Yeah. Um. So that's our lid position there. This is the first thing. Let's put the lid down at zero. Oh, you hear it open up? Imagine that, a lid. This is exactly what's happening. Technical. So, from there, yeah? From there to there, yeah? Lid down to zero. I mean, what's cool for me, I probably like somewhere in the middle there is where I want it. Nice. And what's interesting here, we've got the soundboard type. So, uh, must be modeling. Oh, hey, brings me on to a nice point as well. Not only is the action different, but the technology about how it's generating the sound. This is the first one where we've got a fully modelled piano engine. And that means that instead of using all recordings, you know, so normally traditionally on pianos, electric pianos, they go record the keys, spread them out, and you're triggering samples of it. Cool. Roland really smart, crazy smart, and figured out how to model a piano. So using algorithms and crazy math, really some really heavy stuff. And you think, oh, well, well, how does that help me? Well, what's great is because you're not limited to just triggering and recording, the way you hit the piano and the way you kind of, if you want to get like groovy, you can kind of be, a, or if you want to be really soft. Because you're not just triggering samples, it's generating the mass all the time, it just feels great. I've been using model pianos for years with a bit of software called Piano Tech, so I'm a big, big fan of it. And it also allows you to change things and customise them to whatever you want in all manner of ways. So let's uh, hear that and let's have a listen to different soundboard types that we can do. Um, so, yeah, bye. Let's go for soundboard number five. Let's go for soundboard. Oh no, I've gone fast. Great, you can, I can hear that very clearly in there. Very different character. And imagine in the studio that would be really handy, you know, just to change the character in a subtle way. Maybe it's not fitting, you don't want to EQ it, because when you EQ things, it kind of screws with the sound for me. So that's a really nice way to change it at source. It's like having all these different pianos in there. We can do it with hammer noise as well. Say, you go, oh, it's not cutting right for me, or just in the room and the environment you're in, it's not cutting right. 
um, maybe you want a bit more poke, instead of EQing it, whack some hammer noise in there. Let's have a listen. Hear that? Bit of, bit of gr grit in there. So that's hammer noise right off. Hammer noise max. Nice, I dig it. Damper noise, oh this is a good one. So let's wax it, whack this up, damper noise. Hear that? That's what you always dreamed of, right? On those brass pedals down there. Um, but that's that's nice. Key off resonance. Let's just put all this stuff. Absolutely max this shit out of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, Hey, we've got a really interesting, like, funky doodle dandy piano in there. And so that's really nice. We've got these line level outputs, USB. I can actually see people recording with this and, uh, and, and really finding a sound that inspires you. We've got all the bucket load of other sounds. Again, more gone up in the range. We've got more control here on there. But if you've got the app as well, you can set it up to the nth degree. Loving this bit of kit. Come check it out, HP603 in Anderton's, along with all the other Roland pianos here. And um, we've got an in-house Roland chap that is much more knowledgeable than me, and much more handsome as well. So thanks for uh, joining me, and um, shibuya. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Andertons YouTube keyboard channel. If you play guitar or bass or you're a drummer or you're into music technology, you might find one of our other YouTube channels interesting and I'll put links to those in the description below. So if you'd like more information on the products we featured in this video, please click up here. If you'd like to watch another video from the Andertons keyboard channel, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, please click down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our keyboard channel, please click down here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.